One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Back in Montana, we've been doing stuff today. We got the GTA unloaded. I made videos of that on glass. I'll upload them somehow. My good friend Donald stopped by, and Rich was here. Of course, I just said that. I make daily videos. Subscribe if you're not. And Rich was in this truck, the Franken truck. I made a video on the cold start, but I got this truck at an estate sale. And you know how an estate sale goes, they just sell your stuff. Well, this box is locked. I'm gonna show you here. That's the truck we're talking about. And in the back, there's a toolbox. And the toolbox is locked with two master paddle locks. Now, I'm gonna pause this and take a picture. A little grander? You do have another one. Electric. Yeah. Because it will. Cut right through that. It'll probably pull the pin off before it breaks the lock. It'll probably twist that off, yeah. yeah. Wanna do that? Yeah, I got a cord out here. Okay, we were gonna just twist it off, but we don't think the lock's enough to make it work. Excuse me, we don't think the bar is enough because it's gonna twist that little nubby that you lock it into right off. All right, this is Donald. Donald, say hi, everybody. What's up? And he's got a, a semi-chain tool that we actually think might split this thing apart. We'll see, Rich is getting a die grinder in the meanwhile. But can't sit still, might as well try something. This actually could work. No. Do you have any idea what tub that's in? No. Let's just snap them break. off. Don't break your knuckles. Yeah, don't break them. No. Oh, I did it. Gee, dude. The dude's a beast. a beast. You are a beast. I'm gonna go to the other side. That's a cool tool, man. What do you use that for? These are uh, semi chains on oh. my truck. These are the tools to tighten winks and stuff. Oh, it's a. Oh, it, I have a little a little bitty set. Don't tell the girls oh. that. Don't tell the girls that, right? Do I have a little baby set? Yeah. Is this one a master? <laughs> Masters break kind of easy, though. Nope, oh, I don't want to twist that thing. We'll get it from underneath. The guy's good. The, yeah. guy, the guy knows his tool. He knows his tool. I don't know your tool. Yeah, I know that's exactly what I'm thinking. Wow, Ooh. that thing just even. You can see the whole, whole the, the shackle buckle or whatever. On the tool? No, on the, the lock part. Oh. You can watch it bend. Look at it bending. It's splitting. <sighs> you see the stress marks on it? Yep, let's get ready to. Damn, dude. Watch your knuckles. Knuck, knuck. No, it almost went right there. There it goes. Dude. Okay, now here's the thing. We don't know what's in here. We got no clue. It could be empty. It could be empty. You gotta straighten with that. Okay. I hope it's a pistol, man. It'd be a fucking desert eagle or something. Wow. Not the bolt cutter. No, it was a jack. I have jack rope. That's what we want to see what's in there. <laughs> what is that in that? This is like a double special wing. It's, it's just going to be nuts or something. Nuts. That's he nuts. figured why He figured why lock it with the masters on it. Right. It's, come on, Here's this is the pistol on the cold. Sweet ass snatch block. That is a sweet snatch block. I like snatch. <laughs> ah. They aren't even really good tools, man. Let me get you going. Huh. Valve stem puller. I've never seen it with that on it. It is a valve stem puller. A right big it? valve yeah. stem puller. That thing's massive. That's, semi -trailer? that's what semi -trailer? she said. That's a semi truck valve stem puller. That ain't fitting in no regular valve stem. No. Huh. Well, well I feel cool. kind of let down, but it was cool. It's all built to hold the jack yeah. and everything. That's he custom quick. built it. 
And it's custom built. It's, uh, it's watertight. Oh yeah. It's definitely watertight. That's cool. Huh. Well. Now we're gonna throw the drive line in it and see if she roars. It could roar. The whole drive line could work. So it's just a quick video. You never know. We could have found all kinds of good stuff in it. Hopefully you're keeping yeah, safe from the coronavirus. You have plenty of food. They're locking down the world, man. It ain't gonna stop. They're gonna keep locking stuff down. It's getting kind of sketchy out there. So I don't know what we're coal starting next. I know we got this truck moved. I'm gonna walk over and show you. We got the trailer unloaded and I kind of figured out what's wrong with it. Um, and we were talking about that in the Google Glass video that I'll upload. Once I start editing here, I'm gonna put together a lot of videos and start right, slamming them up. Okay. Come in. Come on, Bubba. So they both get distracted when they're going places, uh -huh. huh? Yeah. She walk out of the school bus, take her 10 minutes. <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll figure out a time, okay, Bubba? I still gotta call your mom back. Okay. All right? Ah. But yeah, what are you we'll, doing? we'll make a time to where you can I come out and you can play. Him. What? I said, we'll make a time to where you can come out and hang out and play with the kids and stuff. Okay. You know? Does that sound good? We got good kids. We don't let them bully and pick on people or treat people mean. No. We look out for each other, huh? But you might come back with your hair that color. That might be purple or something. Who knows? <laughs> I want it pink! She wants it pink? Yeah. Came back over here while Donald was leaving. Say goodbye and... Rick is getting that all smoothed out where we don't blow out the seal. Wish I had some finer paper even to smooth it up after this. I better, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go find some. I've got 400 somewhere. Do ya? Wet. Might be better to do before I put this in. Okay, so, end of the video, end of the thing. I'm gonna walk over towards the truck. All this stuff is moving around. Oh, and Rich got the, um, the pink Ford running. So, that's set and I need to actually, I'm gonna go over here while I'm talking. So, if somebody's interested in this, well, number one, the price just went up because it's a flare side, rust free. I think the whole bed on these is, no, it's got a, it's all metal. But that is fiberglass. So the side is fiberglass. So the top rail is metal. Very interesting engineering on this. Metal, fiberglass. Um, yeah, there you go, exactly. So really odd to have not just the fender, but the bedside be fiberglass and have the metal over it. Really cool. But, yep, it's clean inside besides that seat. I might pop this sucker off, have it redone while I'm in San Diego, but Rich is good, man. He got it running and now Katrina can drive a truck around. Cause it's a good truck. What, 31, 1050, R15 LT. So I'll get a set of those while I'm down there. I love the step side truck, flare side. They're just a rare beast. That thing, me and Richard get running. I'm gonna bring up a couple more batteries next time and all that. The coronavirus doesn't shut the whole world down. But my truck, it's running okay. We had a big wreck in the, ran off the road by a semi. I'll put what I have of that up soon. But this will be today's video and we got it jacked up. And I'll tell you what, we think there's something a little bit bent because watch this. All right, get my hand in there and watch this on the other side. Not happening. And all the ice in here in the middle, it's got rubber on it. All from the middle from coming off this tire and it's a little worn weird. I honestly think when I was up picking up the six by six amphibious vehicle and the restaurant equipment, I think the guy with his forklift <sighs> ran into this and pushed this one over or ran into that and bent it. One or the other, we're going to take this thing apart and see what we got. Wind was so strong here, it blew these around. Crazy. Well, that's the video. I might throw a clip or two in here somewhere that's kind of funny or something. I don't know. One on a car guy. One on a car guy. Dot com and that sounds nice. That's how that V10 is gonna sound once I hack that catalytic converter out and shove a pipe through it. I might just take my mufflers off. I don't know. 
but that thing's gonna sound nice and we can have a little bit more power for pulling but why did i walk back over here oh one of the videos coming up we're gonna bust into this thing the flare side little red express um, clone and we're gonna get a cold start somebody shot up the windows and ripped the carb out of it so that is what it is but at the same time i want to get it started i actually was it rust valley restorers or one of them shows one of the guys had one and it's done in like olive army green he's in canada or something i think and it's just a sweet little truck man and that's what we want to do is get this thing going um it's a good truck it has a rebuilt motor and i think this one even has a floor shift in it it is a government rig yeah it has a floor shift which is kind of cool and like those kids shot everything out of this man they just shot every window around in it okay man this was a cool car so that lady ran off the road and smacked the front end but i think it's still got a lot of usable stuff it really didn't bend all that bad it just shoved the whole front end in it's still pretty straight going down the edges so it could be a parts car if someone had another one and quail and everything out there just squawking away it's getting to be spring which is an amazing thing after the storm me and Katrina just went through coming back home. Stuff going on in the day and things happening. Rich actually fired up the Franken truck. Um, you seen us bust off the lock and like the drive line was in there and it wouldn't go nowhere before. And well, I mean, you put it in and just spin because there was nothing. But he's got the drive line and we're going to see. Lily came in and told me she's learned how to ride the jack last year. She can ride the jack. But I guess he got the drive line and it's working. This thing might be worth just restoring ourselves. So it shifts, huh? Yeah, jump in there. Well. Dude, this guy was set up to take this truck everywhere, dude. Yeah, they, everything? Dude, there's, dude, there's a first aid kit, there's an extra fuel filter, there's bailing wire with, there's bailing wire with pliers, string. I mean, dude, this thing is a beast, man. This thing is badass. It is pretty badass. Dude, if you look up here, it's got two batteries. Two batteries set up this to run. It's on a switch right here. You put the switch on, I'm sure it's just power for the winch by itself. Mm. Got a little switch, power on, power off. But see, it doesn't have a, a big wire coming off of anything. It has a ground. Um, that looks like a windshield washer sprayer motor. That makes sense. Dude, the wipers work, MSD ignition. I know. I might have to pull that off. Dude, that thing is, this thing is set, dude. I might have to pull this off because that's what runs my blower. Oh. That'll retard it. Gotcha. Dude. Has it got a Holly on it or is it just a regular old? You know, I'm not sure. It looks like a regular old Carter or something. It's just yeah, black, it it's not even. But she runs like a top, yeah, It's got a nice distributor, too. Yeah. 396. I mean, I don't know if you take it out on the road if you shift it or not, but it looks like the rear end is leaking a little oil right at the yoke, maybe. But Well, the truck runs and drives. Prices are going up! Up, up, up! Value of this truck just rose exponentially. Okay, that's that. The hood's perfect almost. Dude, yeah. They're not you don't find this on a Chevy. Anybody no. who knows their 70 Chevys knows you ain't gonna find that right there. No. And we're talking both sides, babe. Yeah, the both sides, baby. He just it's beautiful. Struck that thing done, man. I think he had it on. Yeah, it's, it's different color. Looks like it was blue, maybe. Oh, it's hard to tell. But oh, man, this is that thing. It's a clean truck. Yeah. Here, boom. It's just that's just amazing. It's so tight. Amazing. A little adjustment, and this thing will be just near perfect. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna try this winch out. Let's say one eighty. I don't know what model it is. Oh, eighty-two seventy-four. When you look them up on eBay, they ain't cheap, man. It's got a clutch in and out. Pretty cool. We're gonna just check it out, see if it works, just for the heck of it. But I've already decided this is coming off the truck and going on eBay. Although it's sad to take it off because this is zombie apocalypse truck. Oh, buddy! Works fine, brush a piece of plastic off, but cool. Nice. Works. Tested and working. 
Okay. Awesome, this time I'm done. Them are nice tires too, bud. This is a cool truck. Dude, three quarter ton axles. They got a little bit dry where I... Ah! So, whatever. This is the video. Hope you guys are having a great life, great day, all that stuff. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Subscribe, click the bell, all that good stuff. We'll see ya.